Our today's topic of discussion is Pinguecula. Video instructor of this topic is Akbar Kadri. A relatively common non-malignant, raised yellow-white lesion of the interpalpebral bulbar conjunctiva that does not involve the cornea and represents elastoic degeneration of subepithelial collagen with hyalinized connective tissue. These fleshy lesions are typically found bilaterally and adjacent to the limbus of the nasal bulbar conjunctiva although they can be present temporally as well. Pinguecule are thought to arise as a result of the effects of environmental irritants such as wind and dust and are associated with UV light exposure and aging, however the evidence of the association between UV light exposure and pinguecule remains limited. It is thought that both teraegia and pinguecule arise more commonly on the nasal side because light passing medially through the cornea focuses on the area of the nasal limbus while the shadow of the nose reduces the intensity of light transmitted to the area of the temporal limbus. UV light exposure, wind, dust, outdoor lifestyle and proximity to the equator, age, male gender, smoking, working outdoors, diabetes mellitus. The finding of increased nuclear P53 in the limbal epithelium of pterygia, limbal tumors, and most pinguecule indicates the probable existence of P53 mutations in these cells as an early event in their development, which is consistent with their causation by UV radiation exposure. Verhoff elastic stain demonstrates degeneration of the elastoic tissue, stains for elastin but is not broken down by elastase, of subepithelial stromal collagen with hyalinized connective tissue. The overlying epithelium is often thin but may be hyperplastic or dysplastic. The diagnosis is usually made clinically by slit lamp biomicroscopy. The classic growth is raised and yellow-white in color, found in the interpalpebral fissure and is more common nasally than temporally. The lesion may be highly vascularized and injected or associated with punctuate epithelial erosions or delin, thinning of adjacent cornea due to drying. Most pinguecule are asymptomatic but may cause ocular surface irritation including foreign body sensation, tearing, burning or itching. Some may find these lesions cosmetically unacceptable. Biopsy with hysopathologic confirmation is not usually necessary but may be indicated for atypical cases where the diagnosis remains questionable. Lubrication with artificial tears and ointment can help with ocular surface irritation. Excision is indicated only when pinguecule are cosmetically unacceptable or when they become chronically inflamed or interfere with successful contact lens wear. Long-term use of topical steroid therapy should be discouraged due to adverse side effects but can but used judiciously in patients with inflamed pinguculi termed pinguiculitis. Topical indomethacin has also been demonstrated at reducing symptoms of inflammation. Laser photocoagulation and surgical excision of pinguiculi have both been used successfully with similar cosmetic outcomes. Pinguiculi may grow slowly over time but are associated with minimal ocular morbidity.